All right, we're going to introduce you to another annotation for JUnit 5. And this is going to be a, a method that's going to run before every test method. And I want to introduce us to get rid of some code duplication. Because you can see in our two hello worlds, on line 9 there, I'm creating a new greeting object. And then again on line 17, I'm doing the exact same thing. So let's get rid of some of that. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to do Command N for New, which brings up the Generate dialog in IntelliJ. And I want to do setup method. And this is going to run before each. And if I remember right, you don't need to explicitly name it setup, but it's the before each annotation that's going to execute this method before each of these run. So what I can do is come up here. Let's make this property here. This becomes Gets initialized here, give him a semicolon. And now what we can do is that. Get rid of that. So now I'm, I'm creating this as a member variable of the class. And this method is going to run. So IntelliJ is going to instantiate this class. Before each test method is run, we are going to get a new greeting object. So this is going to give me a clean initialization of that greeting object. Because if I have a test under class, I don't want a dirty object in there that might have something left over. So I'm going to get a brand new instance each time. Even though this is a very simple example, I want you to understand what's going on. So I can come in here and say sys out. Like so. And now this is going to run this will run once before hello world, and then it'll run once again before hello world one gets executed. So this sysout will get called twice. So let's go ahead and verify that now. I'm going to run all tests. I'm doing that by clicking at the class level. And you can see in before each, and then hello world, then in before each, hello John. So the before each is a very handy thing to use because a lot of times when you're writing tests, you are going to be testing the same object over and over and over. And your initialization of that object can get a little more complex. I literally could have just said, uh, defaulted it here, but I wanted to demonstrate the uh, usage. And IntelliJ is being nice and telling me that that can be private. So we'll make that private to keep IntelliJ happy. I don't usually make my test properties private, but people will argue on that one. And I, again, I could have defaulted this here, but I wanted to show you that that setup because typically you're going to have a lot more complex than just calling new with no parameters. You'll have uh, a more complex operations there than just a simple new greeting. And then the one last thing that we want to do is uh, right now we're defining the greeting in the before each. So of course we want to get rid of it here. So go ahead and delete it. So we no longer need it to be initialized twice. So we'll get rid of that like so. Clean these up and then we'll go ahead and rerun this, make sure that everything is still working properly. And now we, we can see that the before each is running, it's initializing the reading for us. And so we don't need to have that replicated in the two test methods.